So today on Cooking for Wellness, we're going to reverse our roles and I'm gonna learn from our guests how to prepare this dish. So what are we cooking today? So we're making honey miso udon. Yeah, and let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Cooking for Wellness at NYU Langone Health. I'm Chef Jeffrey Held, and we are joined by two very special guests today, Jenna Agins and Jocelyn Gann from our very own energy and sustainability team. Welcome, Jenna and Jocelyn. Hi. Hi, Jeffrey. Thank you for having Jenna and I here on the show. We are certainly fans of the show and love that so many episodes talk about the importance of eating local and seasonal foods. Back in the fall, we challenged our fellow NYU Lango and Health staff to share their own plant-based recipes to battle it out for a spot to guest chef here on Cooking for Wellness and teach us how to prepare. Jenna and Jocelyn, can you share the inspiration behind this recipe? Absolutely. So my husband and I, we really enjoy cooking together at home. He's actually half Japanese and I've always really loved Asian inspired foods. And so a lot of the dishes that we cook and our favorites like this one are from that region. Yeah, I also love cooking Asian inspired foods. I am a daughter of immigrants and I grew up cooking and eating Chinese and Malaysian foods all the time. Okay, first we're gonna get started on our tofu. We have our diced tofu here. Jen and Jocelyn's recipe called for an air fryer, but we don't have access to an air fryer here. I understand a lot of people at home probably don't either. So we're just gonna use a uh, convection oven, which is an oven with a fan. So we preheated our oven to 375 degrees. We have some garlic powder, I'm gonna add to that bowl. We have some smoked paprika, just a tiny bit of salt and some cornstarch. If you wanna get any kind of crispy tofu at home, that's where the cornstarch comes in. Have a little bit of cracked black pepper and some soy sauce and sesame oil. So the soy sauce, we're going to um, first coat the tofu. We're gonna do a little bit of the oil. So we're just gonna sprinkle that on top of the tofu. We're gonna toss it to coat. Nice. We're gonna pour the tofu out on the tray. So one thing to note is tofu has a lot of water in it. So you wanna drain it the best you can, maybe even pat it dry with a paper towel and then leave enough space on the tray, allow the water to evaporate. So we're going in the oven at 375, 400 even. Uh, how long is it gonna take? About 12 minutes. About 12 minutes, it's not too bad. And you should flip it about halfway through so that it gets evenly cooked on both sides. So while the tofu is cooking, we're gonna work on our produce and our noodles. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and cook the bok choy. We're gonna get some oil, add a little bit onto your pan here. And you wanna make sure that's nice and coated so your veggies don't stick to it at the end. So while this is heating up, we wanna make sure it's up down to like a medium heat. So once you put the bok choy on, it'll be kind of stuck in the pan until it chars. And you really want that nice dark color, which really makes the dish beautiful in my opinion. Nice. So you're looking for caramelization. You want deep chuck. Great. Yep, exactly. Sounds delicious. I'm gonna add this in. Now, while this is in the pan, we're gonna add a little bit of water, enough to kind of steam the veggies while it's in the pot. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the lid on top. We're gonna leave this for like five minutes. And again, we don't wanna move it because we want that really nice char. And while that's cooking, we can go ahead and move on to the noodles. So next we're gonna make the udon noodles. The goal is that we're cooking them to be what we'll call al dente, slightly undercooked. So maybe a minute less than the package calls for. Make sure you stir it and break up the noodles as you're cooking so they don't stick together. And then you can set those aside and we're gonna add them back into the recipe towards the end. Okay, so we're gonna put the noodles in. So just mix them around so they don't stick together. And we're gonna let those cook. As you see, a lot of our water's already evaporated, which means a lot of that charring is showing up now. And that's what you want. So once Ew. one side starts charring, you just go ahead and flip to the other side to get that really nice color. It smells so good, I can smell. Mm, love it. Okay, so this is almost ready to go. Our tofu should be just about ready. All right, so we're gonna get started on the sauce, right? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and saute the mushrooms and the garlic together, get that nice aroma. Love fried garlic. That smells fantastic. And we're gonna add a little bit extra oil in this to make sure it doesn't burn. Perfect. So what we're looking for here is to just make sure that the mushrooms get a little soft before we add in the rest of our sauce. So we're gonna let this saute for a li little bit 
and get a little bit translucent. That's what we're kind of going for. Yeah, and the garlic will get really fragrant, so you'll be able to smell it. It smells really delicious already. Um, <laughs> and it'll coat the mushrooms as well. So next, we're gonna make the sauce yep. components. Um, so we're gonna put in all the rest of the ingredients. This is ginger, nice and grated. Some miso paste. And you can use both red or white. I prefer red, and that's just the flavor that I personally like. It's a little bit more flavorful, so um, you can choose to put a little bit less salt uh, mm -hmm. to offset the uh, miso paste itself. Right. We can just add a little bit at a time, and you know you can build on your own flavor. So you can just add a little bit of each, and just cater it to your own flavor. Mm -hmm. Now during this part, it's really important to turn down the heat because we're gonna be adding in our honey now and honey is going to burn quite quickly. So always leave that last. This is our honey. Looks good. So this is our first time cooking with our own honey and it is very exciting. Every honey takes on the slight nuances and flavor of the surroundings of the hive. It's really fascinating how it works. We are really excited about our new Urban Honeybee program. We have two hives in Long Island and Brooklyn, which are home to 50,000 Italian bees during wow. peak season. Bees are a really important part of our ecosystem. They pollinate over 130 fruits and vegetables around the world. And that's about a third of the food that we eat. Our bees are located in urban areas, so they actually help maintain the biodiversity of our flowers and trees in our neighborhoods. Honey also contains antioxidants and can protect the body from inflammation and chronic disease. It's a really great natural alternative to processed sugars. You can put it in your coffee and your tea, or you can use it to cook or bake like we're doing today. So noodles are done. We're gonna add those right to the pan. Let me grab the tofu. Looks like it's ready, nice and crispy. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and start plating our dish. So we add some noodles on the bottom, add in our charred bok choy on the side, and some tofu. And then last but not least, we have some garnishing that can go on top. This is completely up to what you like to do or what taste you like. So we have the green parts of the scallions, add a bunch of that, some red pepper, and some sesame seeds. And I love sesame seeds, so I always add a lot to mine. <laughs> so there you have it, a delicious, plant-based, local ingredients, veggie-heavy meal for your whole family. Yeah, absolutely. It's something you can substitute ingredients with. So for those lazy nights where you don't really want to cook too much, this is a nice one to pull out. Man, it looks amazing and it smells fantastic. I'm very excited right now. So let's eat. How is it? That's good. Good? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, mm. it's delicious. I, there's a lot of different textures that's happening. You have the crispiness and the tofu. You have the nice softness of the udon noodles. And I really like the excessive sesame seeds. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's my really personal nice. preference. I like They're it. They're delicious. It gets they really a, are. A lot of little, like, like little. Yeah, crunch. like a toasted flavor mm -hmm. to uh -huh. it also. Yeah, it's really good. So thank you guys so much. Like this recipe was really delicious. Like I'm like, I'm blown away. It was awesome. Thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It was so much fun here cooking next to you. Yeah, we were really excited to join today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Chef Jeffrey Held. Check out more episodes on our Healthy Lifestyle playlist.